A bomber is a military combat aircraft designed to attack both ground and naval targets by dropping bombs, launching torpedoes, and deploying cruise missiles. The first purpose-built bomber, the Italian Caproni CA-30, and the British Bristol TB-8 took flight in 1913, dropping pyric acid-filled pellets down on troops below. Needless to say, these aircraft have come a long way since then. So brace yourself for today's video and don't look up as we count down the top 15 most advanced bombers. Let's begin. Number 15, B-52. Nicknamed the Strato Fortress and the Big Ugly Fat Fellow, the B-52 bomber is a sight to behold as it roars through the skies. Designed by the Boeing Company for the United States with its first flight in 1952, the B-52 has a wingspan of 185 feet and uses a whopping eight jet engines to travel at speeds of just under Mach 1. It truly is a behemoth of the skies. It's designed for long-range missions. This massive bomber carries a crew of just five people and has no onboard defense capabilities, but can carry up to a whopping 35 tons of payload. Yep, 35 tons. While it was originally meant to carry nuclear weapons over the former Soviet Union during the Cold War, this incredible military aircraft has withstood the test of time by being a veteran of multiple wars and is expected to serve the United States until 2050. Number 14, Northrop Grumman B-2A Spirit. It's better known as the Stealth Bomber. This heavy strategic bomber is another aircraft first designed by the United States during the Cold War and meant to deploy not just conventional weapons, but thermonuclear weapons as well. That means it can carry up to 80 500-pound class-guided bombs or 16 2,400-pound B-83 nuclear bombs. But no matter what it's carrying, the B-2A Spirit is one of the most well-known military aircraft to date but not only can it carry a heavy lethal payload, it also features low observable stealth technology used for penetrating dense anti-aircraft defenses. And it is the only known aircraft that can carry large air-to-surface standoff weapons in a stealth configuration. You literally won't see this thing coming until it's too late. The aircraft comes in at a whopping 200 tons, and despite the weight, it's still a long-range striker capable of flying 6,000 nautical miles before refueling. And what may be even more incredible is the B-2A Spirit's price tag. To build this aircraft, including onboard equipment, spare parts, and software, runs the U.S. Air Force a whopping $2.1 billion per aircraft. Number 13, Tupolev Tu-95M Bear. A long-standing symbol of Soviet and Russian aerial engineering, ingenuity, and air power, the Tupolev Tu-95 Bear has been flying around for more than 60 years. It served as the flagship reconnaissance plane and bomber and was a personal favorite of the Federation, and it's the only propeller-powered strategic bomber still in use today. And those propellers, they move so fast that they break the speed of sound, making it one of the loudest military aircraft in the world. So you can only imagine what it's like to hear this thing roaring overhead, let alone what it's like in the cockpit. But the bear itself reaches a top speed of about 574 miles an hour, which is a world record that still stands today. And it's moving at this speed up to 45,000 feet in the air. So you can hear it, but you won't see this thing. The aircraft with a 164-foot wingspan has four turboprop engines and was first flown in 1952 for the long-range aviation of the Soviet Air Force. And it's expected to serve in the Russian Aerospace Forces until at least 2040. That's some serious reliability there. Number 12, Tupolev Tu-22M. Also known as the Backfire, the Tupolev Tu-22M is a supersonic long-range strategic and maritime bomber manufactured by the former Soviet Union. And there still are 66 of them in service for the Russian Air Force and Russian Naval Aviation to this day. And while this may be one of Russia's preferred strategic bombers, this model also flies for India and Ukraine. This craft has an incredibly rich and interesting history, having made its maiden flight in 1969 and officially entered service in 1972. It flew the skies as somewhat of a warning to the United States during the Cold War and was even deployed in Afghanistan from 1987 to 1989. Since then, a total of 497 backfires have been built. The aircraft carries a crew of four and can reach a top speed of about 2,000 kph and max critical range of about 2,200 kilometers. She's flying high and she's flying fast. The backfire can hold a load of KH-22 standoff missiles, six KH-15 nuclear or KH-15P anti-radar missiles, and KH-35 air-to-surface missiles, and about three hefty tons of free-fall bombs. 
She's got a maximum takeoff weight of 124 tons, so she can show up to the party with plenty of goodies. Number 11, Jian H6. China's People's Liberation Army Air Force is all about a show of force, and the Jian H6 makes for quite the specimen. The Jian H6 strategic bomber is the Chinese variant of the Russian Tupolev Tu-16 and first entered into the service for the PLAAF back in 1969. And while she may be a bit older, she still packs quite the punch. This bomber has quite the armament and it's equipped with two 23mm Noodleman Richter NR-23 cannons in the remote dorsal turret and a total of five NR-23 cannons in the remote ventral turret, man-tail turret, and nose turret. And while this aircraft may be able to offer itself some protection on all sides, it's what she does to those on the ground and oceans that have people buzzing. The H-6's internal weapons bay can house 9,000 kilograms, which can include multiple anti-ship and air-to-surface missiles, nearly 3,000 kilograms of class general-purpose bombs, or a single nuclear bomb. This H-6 reaches a cruising speed of 796 kilometers an hour, just under Mach 1, and can travel at a range of approximately 6,000 kilometers. She's been the backbone of the strategic fleet and laid the foundation for multiple variants, one of which is equipped with a new and improved turbofan engine. Number 10. Fencer D More commonly known as the Fencer D, the Sukhoi Su-24 is the modern frontline bomber born and bred in Russia by the premier Sukhoi company. The Fencer D has been specially designed specifically for bombardment of ground and naval surface targets through bombs and guided missiles. So when you see this thing up in the air over the battlefield, you better hope that air support is on its way, because the Fencer D packs a nasty punch. Another advanced bomber that goes back in time, the Fencer D began production back in the 1970s and made its first flight in 1979. Deliveries began less than two years later, and by 1983 the Fencer D was up in the air just in time for the Cold War. And while it may be the choice of a Russian air fleet, these bombers also belong to the air force fleets of countries like Algeria, Libya, Iran, Iraq, and Syria. But what is Fencer D bringing to the table? Well, they're armed with six 23mm GSH guns and can carry a full 8,000 kilogram combat load, including 120 SA 80mm rockets in blocks of 10, OFAB 500 SHR 500 kilogram or OFAB 250 SHN 250 kilogram high explosive fragmentation bombs. Yeah, that's a mouthful. The aircraft has a maximum speed of 1,700 kilometers an hour and has a range of about 2,800 kilometers when fitted with two petrol tanks. It's undergone quite a few upgrades as time has rolled on, like the upgraded cockpit with multifunctional displays, helmet-mounted sights, and air-to-air -air missiles, making it a worthy and lethal foe in the sky. Number 9. De Havilland Mosquito PR have you heard the buzz about this one? Well, the de Havilland Mosquito was another aviary favorite of the Royal Air Force, and in 1941, it was one of the fastest military aircraft around. It was originally conceived as a fast bomber. The de Havilland Mosquito grew into newer roles as World War II raged on, and more and more roles needed to be filled. It became a pathfinder, day and night fighter, maritime striker, intruder, and eventually a photo reconnaissance plane. The model was able to hold an impressive amount of payload, making it a perfect fit to carry large camera equipment mounted right onto its belly. Its speed meant that it could get in and out of enemy territory before anyone knew what was going on and was able to outfly the Axis aircraft. This spy plane, which surprisingly was made almost entirely out of wood, took part in plenty of recon missions and let the Brits know just how many enemies were coming to play and what kind of toys they were bringing. The photos that it brought back every time were no doubt able to save hundreds of Allied lives. Number 8. Sukhoi Su-34 Fullback Another one of the most advanced bombers in the skies today is the Sukhoi Su-34 Fullback. This Russian-origin aircraft is a twin-engine, twin-seat, all-weather supersonic medium-range fighter bomber slash strike aircraft that first flew in 1990. And while it was fully intended for the Soviet Air Forces, the fullback didn't enter service until 2014 for the Russian Air Force. Serving the Russian Air Force Strategic Aviation Fleet, the fullback's auxiliary fuel tanks along with the in-flight refueling allow for a long-range capability as it carries 8,000 kilograms of weapons, including guided bombs, incendiary bombs, unguided bombs, and cluster munitions. Other armaments include a 30mm gun, guided air-to-air, air-to-surface missiles, and some unguided missiles. This truly is a force to be reckoned with and can easily compete with many of the best bombers in flight. 
it was built with superior aerodynamics and an AL31F bypass engine to fly at a top speed of 1,900 kilometers an hour. Adding to the fullback's competitive edge, it also serves as an air superiority fighter, built with an armored cockpit for side-by-side -side seating for the two-person crew. It's designed generally for tactical deployment against ground and naval targets, engaging in the tactical bombing, attack, and indirect roles against mobile targets, and can enter hostile environments with ease thanks to counter-fire and electronic warfare countermeasures. And while it can blow enemy units to smithereens, this fighter also serves as a quality aerial reconnaissance craft. The fullback will eventually replace Russia's Su-24 tactical strike fighter and the Tu-22M long-distance bomber. Number 7. Consolidated PB-4Y2 Privateer The United States Air Force made great use of its strong and reliable bomber, the B-24 Liberator. It was fast, deadly, and a mainstay for the United States and Allied forces during World War II. It was so popular, in fact, that the United States Navy wanted to get in on a piece of the action as well. The B-24 bomber was adapted for maritime use and became the Consolidated PB-4Y2 Privateer. This long-range patrol bomber and spy plane took its first flight in 1943 and had increased stability at lower altitudes, something many planes at the time were not built for. The ball turret and supercharger engines were removed to lighten the load and allow it to fly faster for longer periods of time. Electronic countermeasures and radar antennas were placed all over the craft. The privateer didn't fall into obscurity, though, at the end of World War II. It made plenty of flights at the beginning of the Korean War, flying electronic signal tracking missions near the coast of the USSR and China. And although this spy plane was incredibly useful, it was retired from service by the US after just 15 years as technology improved. Number 6. Predator B – MQ-9 Reaper in service with the United States Air Force, NASA, the Royal Air Force, and the French, Spanish, and Italian Air Forces, there's no doubt that the Predator B MQ-9 Reaper is one of the most popular drones on today's list. Developed by General Atomics Aeronautical Systems, also known as the GAASI, this UAV is designed to comply with NATO standards and is the first hunter-killer UAV made for high-altitude and long-endurance missions. This Predator B combat drone can travel twice as fast as its predecessor, the Model A, and carries a whopping 500% greater payload. It's got a maximum speed of 240 knots and an endurance of 27 hours, and can reach a maximum altitude of over 15 kilometers. The Predator B, of course, carries a variety of weapons, including the GBU-12 Paveway 2 laser-guided bomb, air-to-ground Hellfire missiles, AIM-9 Sidewinders, and the GBU-39 Joint Direct Attack Munition. It's also been reported that tests are underway to allow for the addition of the AIM-92 Stinger air-to-air -air missile, meaning the Predator B will be one of the most lethal unmanned aircraft in the sky. And while this thing may not be your typical full-blown bomber plane like the rest of the aircraft on this list, if this is flying over your head, the targets on the ground are as good as gone once the dust settles. Number 5. Badger the Tupolev Tu-16 Badger is a renowned Soviet-era twin-engine jet strategic heavy bomber. The aircraft flew for nearly seven decades and served as the archetype for the PLAAF Gian H-6. The Badger became operational in 1954 in response to the United States' superior strategic bombing platforms during the Cold War. While the original Badger was introduced with conventional free-falling bomb speciations, it was quickly upgraded for nuclear capability. The twin RD-3M turbojets provided 41,000 pounds of thrust, which was enough to cruise at around 600 miles an hour over a range of 4,500 miles. But nuclear capability and speed aside, the Badger was pretty deadly in its own right and would have made for quite the opponent should the Cold War heat up. It carried seven 23mm AM-23 cannons, two each in dorsal and ventral remote turrets and manned tail turret, with the occasional addition of one fixed forward in the nose. There were two hardpoints for missiles and a bomb bay for missiles or bombs like the two Raduga KS-1 Comet and anti-ship missiles, or Raduga KSR-5 anti-ship missiles on under-wing hardpoints, and 9,000 kilos worth of free-fall weapons. The Tupolev Tu-16 Badger was an incredibly advanced bomber for its time and eventually retired from service in 1993, but license-built and modified models still exist today in Belarus, Indonesia, Armenia, and countless other countries. Number 4. General Dynamics F-111 Aardvark 
What do you get when you have variable geometry wings combined with Pratt & Whitney TF-30 engines? Well, for starters, you have an exemplary aircraft that provided General Dynamics F-111 with fighter levels of performance, capable of reaching Mach 2.5 at high altitudes. This thing is flying high and it's flying fast, and seeing as how it's on this list, the General Dynamics F-111 Aardvark is dropping bombs, big ones. But with all that said, impressive performance compromised the F-111's payload and endurance with internal fuel limiting its range to just 3,100 miles with a maximum takeoff weight of 100,000 pounds. The F-111 is no longer in service, with the last of these supersonic round attack bombers being retired by the RAAF in 2013, 43 years after it first made waves in the airstream. Early requirements included B-spec variants for carrier use, though the U.S. Navy would later adopt Grumman's F-14 Tomcat proving capable of carrying the larger Phoenix weapons system, rendering the F-111B unnecessary. But during its heyday, the F-111 Aardvark brought all sorts of party favors to the battlefield and featured an internal weapons bay that could carry a removable 20mm M61 cannon in lieu of auxiliary fuel tanks. In terms of bombs, the bay would hold two 750-pound conventional bombs or one nuclear bomb. For long-range air-to-air scuffles, it carried two AIM-54 Phoenix long-range missiles in the bay. For being named after such a goofy member of the animal kingdom, the F-111 Aardvark sure did pack a punch. Number 3. Tupolev Tu-160 Blackjack Flying under the NATO callsign Blackjack, the Tupolev Tu-160 is a mighty supersonic strategic bomber and missile carrier, manufactured by the Tupolev and Kazan Aircraft Production Association. It's designed to deliver both conventional and nuclear weapons. Blackjack is primarily operated by the Russian Air Force and comes in eight variants. The Blackjack bomber flew for the first time in December of 1981 and entered service in April 1987. This aircraft is as tough as it is versatile and can survive in all weather, day and night conditions while operating at all geographical latitudes. The bomber can carry freefall bombs up to 40 tons and has a weapons bay which can hold 12 KH-55 MS missiles and up to 24 KH-15P short-range nuclear missiles. If this thing shows up on your radar, you better act fast because it can deal some serious damage and the last thing anyone wants is for things to get nuclear. The Russian Blackjack has the very important in-flight refueling system, and it's also powered by four Kuznetsov NK-32 turbofans, which allows for a maximum speed of about 1,400 miles an hour and a smooth cruising speed of about 600 miles an hour over a range of 7,600 miles. And while the Blackjack is decades old, this is one bomber that's still in service today. There's already been an order placed for another 50 models in the coming years, while simultaneously upgrading the already existing 16. And the only country outside of Russia to own these is the Ukraine, making it a very special aircraft indeed. Anyone lucky enough to pilot this variable sweep wing heavy strategic bomber can rest assured that they've got the winning hand every time. Number 2. Rockwell B-1B Lancer Another jet used by the United States Air Force, the Rockwell B-1B Lancer is more commonly referred to as the Bone. The Bones onboard computer is the same one used in the B-52 and even the U.S. Space Shuttle Orbiter. It comes with plenty of defense systems like radar warning and jamming equipment, a missile approach warning system, and eight of the largest infrared countermeasure flare dispensers in the world. And of course, a fighter with that many countermeasures has to be equally as dangerous. The B-1B Lancer can carry eight air-launched cruise missiles or 24 short-range attack missiles and up to 84 500-pound conventional bombs or 24 nuclear bombs. In total, it can carry a payload of up to 75,000 pounds while still being able to climb to altitudes of up to 40,000 feet and reach speeds of just over Mach 1, plus fly for 4,600 miles without refueling. Since its debut in 1986, it's garnered over 50 records, and as of 2021, is one of three strategic bombers in the U.S. Air Force fleet. It truly has become one of the most incredible military aircraft speeding through the sky. Number 1. The B-21 Raider The ultimate entry on this list is so stealthy that not much is known about it, but the B-21 Raider is the United States stealth bomber under development and under wraps, but it's expected to be the next best thing when it debuts around 2026. When it does hit the skies, it's first going to complement and then replace the B-52 Stratofortress, which is a very serious deal. 
but the B-21 Raider is set to be an advanced long-range huge heavy payload stealth intercontinental strategic bomber that will deliver both conventional and thermonuclear weapons. It will come with an improved radar absorbent coating and will be the most advanced stealth bomber in existence if everything goes according to plan. The B-21 Raider will likely be a subsonic stealth vehicle and can be refueled mid-flight and ready to be deployed at a moment's notice and fly to anywhere in the world. I'd say keep your eyes peeled for this one, but this sleek and thin design coupled with radar deflection capabilities is going to make the B-21 Raider a tough cookie to spot. Watch our Vehicles playlist for more Top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best vehicle videos.